The machine you see here is the Series G40 Laterno Tree Crusher. It weighs 48 tons, and its purpose is to expedite clearing of areas to be used for water reservoirs, rights of way, and agricultural purposes. Clearing at rates up to three times as fast as the largest land clearing tractor, it leaves in its wake a mat of crushed trees, limbs, and underbrush. The G40 is designed to crush average sized trees up to 20 inches in diameter on a production basis, but it is also capable of felling individual trees up to 40 inches in diameter. Simple electric switches control all functions of the tree crusher. To move the crusher forward, the potentiometer control handle is moved clockwise to attain the desired speed and power. To travel in reverse, the handle is moved counterclockwise. To slow or stop, the handle is moved back to the neutral position. To steer the tree crusher, the operator presses a small fingertip switch and a powerful electric gear motor swings the roller in the direction he wants to go. To travel in the opposite direction, he simply flips the switch and the same powerful gear motor swings the roller back around. Let's take a look at the Series G40 tree crusher at work. In moderately thick 15 to 20 inch trees such as this being crushed here at the rate of five acres per hour, a fleet of several dozers and operators would be required to match its production. Contractors in the United States and other countries have found that Laterno tree crushers speed job completions and lower clearing costs at impressive rates. An added benefit that comes from the use of a Laterno tree crusher on a land clearing job is that trees and undergrowth chopped and splintered by the roller blades can be left to dry in place, further reducing overall clearing costs. Because trees are crushed and splintered, drying time is accelerated and the area may be fired without piling when burning conditions are favorable. Mechanical cleanup cost is reduced proportionately to the tonnage that is burned in place. Results have shown that from 30 to 90 percent of the tonnage rolled can be burned in this manner. The Series G40 tree crusher may be easily moved from one job location to another, making it a practical tool for small tract clearing such as this job of crushing soil and grass robbing mesquite trees on a ranch in the southwest. After the tree crusher has been hauled to the job site, the main components can be easily reassembled. Here, arrangements were made to have on hand two trucks equipped with winches and gin poles for quick economical assembly. The components were aligned and pinned together, electrical connections were made, and the crusher was ready for work. In addition to the tree crusher's ability to knock down and chop up mesquite trees, the steel blades left deep cuts in the soil. These cuts caught and held rainwater. In effect, each cut became a tiny water reservoir. On this job, over 1,000 acres were cleared, and the crusher worked around the clock to complete the job in two weeks' time. The area is now a productive pasture with the mesquite growth controllable with rotary mowers. Grass production on the crushed area is up 300%, primarily due to mesquite suppression and ground treatment by the machine's knife blade. Total cost was 25% of the mesquite control method previously used by this rancher. The second machine in the tree crusher family is the Series G, a larger and heavier unit capable of felling and crushing trees up to five feet in diameter.
The Series G is equipped with two big 20-foot-wide steel cleated rollers for the tougher land-clearing jobs that exist in the tropics and other areas. As the machine rolls against and over trees, they chop and split the material into a splintered mat. High production is the keynote for all the Turno tree crushers. This one, contractor job studies show, is capable of clearing four acres per hour in dense wooded areas. Unlike conventional equipment, traction is maintained even while turning. Both front and rear power steering permits the operator to adjust for almost any given ground condition as he continues the crushing operation. The elevated push beam bumper applies leverage high up the tree trunk and normally uproots the trees before the first roller engages them. As the rollers pass over the trees, the dirt and chipped root structure is pressed back into the ground. As a result, there is less land leveling for two reasons. No digging is required to take out the trees, and holes left by the root wad are partially refilled as the rollers press the crushed mass back into them. With this method of land clearing, there is little topsoil displacement. Even when clusters of large trees such as these are being pushed over, there's plenty of power to spare in the big DC electric motors and gear reductions that drive each individual roller. This combination of big power and big weight will clear more acres per hour at less cost than with conventional methods. Near Atlantic City, New Jersey, another Series G tree crusher played an important role. Over 1,800 acres of trees surrounding the Atlantic City airport interfered with electronic signals and needed to be leveled quickly to a height of 18 inches above ground. Contractors bidding the job contacted Letourneau and in a matter of days after the bid was let, a Series G was on its way. Neither the contractors performing the job nor the operator had had previous experience with a Letourneau tree crusher. But after only brief instructions from Letourneau service personnel, the job was underway. Like other land-clearing jobs where a Letourneau tree crusher is employed, electric speed and power paid off. With the huge 20-foot-wide, 9-foot diameter rollers of this juggernaut knocking down and crushing trees at the rate of better than 4 acres per hour, it's easy to see how the contractors were able to complete the job on schedule at a much lower cost than would have been the case had conventional methods been used. In the James Bay area of Ontario, another Series G tree crusher is in operation clearing a 12,000 acre tract of land that will be used as a water reservoir and a hydroelectric power plant. On this job, the tree crusher has been subjected to extremes of low temperatures, yet with its vast supply of diesel electric power, it topples and crushes snow-laden trees up to 36 inches in diameter. The trees in many places are so thick that it's difficult to walk among them, but they're no match for the crusher. Where soft spots were encountered, the felled trees became a support for the machine as it continued the crushing job. In some areas where streams or other terrain features divide the area into small plots, the contractor preferred to use a shuttle method. The Series G tree crusher operates with equal efficiency in either direction, eliminating turnaround time at the end of each run. Now that we've seen Laterno tree crushers in operation on land clearing projects in the United States and Canada, let's go to South America and observe projects underway in tropical areas.
This machine has been in operation for a number of years, clearing land for road rights of way and for agricultural purposes in the jungles of Peru. It's been observed that machines of this nature can play an important role in raising economic conditions and living standards of people in certain areas. With the Laterno tree crusher, millions of new acres can be quickly and economically turned into pastures and farms for food crops, highways cleared, or sites for new industries prepared. This big machine exerts pressure with the push beam bumper high upon the trunks of these jungle giants. Then, in the case of extremely large trees, the front roller climbs the tree until enough leverage has been applied to push it over, all in a flowing motion. Impact and shock forces on the machine are reduced. Unlike dozers adapted to the job, a tree crusher is designed especially as a land clearing tool, thus eliminating many downtime problems encountered with other machines not designed for this rugged service. On this project in a hot, humid and dense jungle where the land is generally level but poorly drained, Trees range to approximately 150 feet in height by more than four feet in diameter. Yet production has averaged one hectare or about two and one half acres per hour. When you compare this method of clearing land with the conventional methods available to do the same job, figures speak for themselves. A contractor will save in equipment costs, labor costs, and equipment operating costs. These savings make possible lower bid prices and have on several occasions allowed a greater volume of acreage to be awarded to the contractor. A few hundred miles to the north in the equatorial belt, another Series G tree crusher proved its knockdown ability when it was pitted against mammoth trees such as the ones you see here. And, like a successful wrestler, it pins the trees to the ground, leaving behind a trail of broken and splintered debris that can be burned in place after sufficient drying time has elapsed. Here is the third and largest of the tree crusher family. This machine, the Series G-175, is equipped with two DC electric powered 8 foot diameter, 30 foot long steel pleated rollers. The machine weighs approximately 350,000 pounds and is electrically controlled by fingertip switches on the operator's control panel. This job called for clearing 4,800 acres of river bottom land in the Mississippi River region of eastern Louisiana. Timber, for the most part, was dense stands of oak and other hardwood that averaged 18 inches in diameter. Production averaged over five acres per hour. The crusher has handled trees up to four feet in diameter on a production basis. Here's what this area looked like two years later. After the trees and undergrowth were crushed, the mat was permitted to lie undisturbed for approximately one year. Then, after the material had weathered and decayed, the area was crushed a second time and sown with soil-building grasses and legumes. Now the area is generally smooth, and a car or truck may be driven to any point on it.
R.G. Letourneau Incorporated of Longview, Texas and Vicksburg, Mississippi, built and tested the first successful tree crusher over 10 years ago. Since that time, it has marketed a line of land clearing equipment to operate under a wide range of job conditions. These machines develop and transmit massive forces required for land clearing with powerful electric motors and gear reduction units. And like all equipment manufactured by Letourneau, they are fabricated under exacting conditions of quality control. All components, steel used in the structural members, generators, motors, gear reductions, and switch gear are made in Letourneau plants, giving the user the benefit of one source of supply and responsibility. sum it all up, if you're now considering a land clearing project and want a machine that will do the job and do it economically in record time, it will pay you to investigate a Laterno tree crusher for lowest land clearing costs.